You may not believe me when I tell you this, but it is possible to look both fashionable and travel with only a carry-on. Today I'm going to show you how to pack for a spring weekend in Charleston, South Carolina. Let's begin by doing something fun. Leave me a comment telling me where you're commenting from. I love reading the comments and seeing all the various locations across the world where people are watching from. But we're starting today with a wrinkle-free black travel dress, a black dolman t-shirt, and a beige dolman t-shirt. I'm also adding a layering tank and a beige textured cardigan. From here, I am also packing the waistcoat and trousers that I took to Augusta, but adding a white linen blazer for polish with it. And then I am adding these wrinkle-free crop pants. These are a regular length that I'm wearing. I believe they do come in petite length as well. But it's supposed to be quite warm in Charleston this week, so I'm packing lightweight linen pants and some nylon shorts. I didn't actually go with these shorts for the wardrobe, but just know that they're in it. And as always, I pack a pashmina for the weather indoors and the chilly evenings. And this is the crossbody bag that I'm taking with me as well. Let's start by talking about the purpose of a travel capsule wardrobe. With a travel capsule, you limit the color palette so that you don't have to take as many shoes and accessories. But by limiting the color palette, and here I'm only using two colors, three colors with the white blazer, it maximizes the number of outfits you can create while minimizing what you have to pack. I always travel with some form of a pashmina or wrap for when the evenings get cool or certainly when the restaurants and establishments get cool inside as well. But I love a wrap because it just feels so elegant when I put it on. Next, I'm going to pair the black wrinkle-free travel dress with the beige textured cardigan. Now, a word about shorts while I have this dress on. I am packing a pair of shorts this weekend, but as midlife women, we're not totally crazy for, the, for most of us about the way our legs start to look in the midlife years. But that presents a challenge for when it's hot outside. So a loose fitting dress like this one is a good option because it covers my legs, but it still allows air to move around my skin. And it's predicted to be 86 degrees Fahrenheit in Charleston this weekend. So comfort in the heat is a must. I've thrown the cardigan over my shoulders here, knowing that it will be very warm when we are walking around outside and touristing, but that I will need to put it on with the air conditioning in the restaurants and places like that. When I am traveling, I try to only carry one purse, but I always carry this little phone wallet that keeps my phone and my cards and my money all secure in one. I use the little wristless chain and use it sort of as a clutch. It does come with a longer chain if you wanted to put it over your shoulder as well, but I just use it as a clutch that way I don't have to pack a bunch of handbags when traveling. 
And now I've simply paired it with this white linen blazer for a dinner look. I believe we are going to Hall's Chop House for one of our dinners this weekend for a lovely meal. And this is an elevated and polished yet still comfortable and casual look. Next, I've packed this lightweight beige dolman tee and wrinkle-free crop pants. Now, the crop pants that I'm actually wearing in this video are regular length. I am barely five foot one, so they're just slightly crop on me as to not drag the street. Um, but if you are petite, I believe they are available in petite length as well. And I'm holding this dolman t-shirt up with fashion tape rather than tucking it. And again, going back to not wanting to wear shorts, but it being still being hot outside. These crop pants are almost like palazzo pants. They move freely, plenty of air moves around the skin. So they are also a good option for midlife women who don't want to show their legs. And there's just something inherently elegant and chic about this beige and black color combination. And next, I am staying with the crop pants, but adding the black layering tank and the beige cardigan. This is a good look for touristing, for shopping, for walking around town. Again, I'm throwing the cardigan over my shoulders because it will be quite warm outside, but I will likely need it when indoors. Now I'm going to show you what the cardigan looks like over the layering tank for when we are indoors. As many of you know, as I live most of the year in the Florida Keys and we have a saying, it gets quite hot there. And we have a saying that we must prepare for the weather outdoors, but dress for the weather indoors. And given the heat in Charleston this week, that's my plan here as well. Next, I have packed a pair of beige linen pants. And if you are worried about wrinkles, then linen is not for you. But linen is a lightweight, breathable fabric that is perfect for hot weather like Charleston this week. These are not tight fitting. They allow air to move around my skin. Yes, they have to be ironed but I did pack a travel size of wrinkle release spray to make it a little easier on me.
here's another dinner outfit. I packed this waistcoat and trousers for our trip to Augusta. I loved it. Many of you ladies left me nice comments about it. But given that the restaurants will likely be quite cold with air conditioning to combat the heat outside, I have paired it with a white linen blazer this weekend and some espadrilles for height and lift. This is how I would wear it for when it's warm outside or just warm in general. And if you're not okay with showing your arms in the midlife years, that's totally fine. Put the blazer on over it. You could also put the pashmina wrap over this as well to cover your arms if you're worried about that. And here I'm showing you that longer chain for the iPhone wallet uh, and clutch. And I'm gonna show you how it looks to wear it with the longer chain, more like a purse here. Until we meet again, my friends.